On August 20, 1975, NASA launched what would soon be the first successful U.S. landing on Mars. The Viking 1 landed on the Golden Plain of Mars on July 20, 1976. The Viking 2 followed just two weeks later, beginning its trip to Mars on September 9, 1975. It arrived on Mars at Utopia Planitia on September 3, 1976. Together, the two Viking rovers sent back over 50,000 photos of Mars, both from orbit and on the surface. The sole purpose of these missions was to explore, and these rovers did not disappoint. These, the first two American spacecrafts to touch the red planet successfully, took photos and also conducted biology experiments to look for any sign of possible life. These rovers had built-in seismometers to detect any ground motions or seismic activities. Viking 1's device did not work after landing, and Viking 2 only detected one slightly seismic event. Overall, the results were underwhelming to NASA. The Mars rovers were constantly monitoring the weather around them and took note of the change of the seasons on Mars. They found that the days were windier on Mars than the nights, and the Viking 2 captured a layer of water frost on the ground in the winter. Viking was also the mission that captured the North Polar ice cap that survives through the summers on Mars. The rover proved through its orbital photographs that this ice cap was water ice and not dry ice, as was once believed. It is fascinating to look back this far and see how much was found on this first successful U.S. mission to Mars. All of this once new information is now significant to furthering the explanation of the Red Planet. Both Viking rovers were launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. The NASA project manager was James S. Martin Jr. The project scientist at NASA was Dr. Gerald A. Soffen. There are dozens of other brilliant people involved with this mission, more than I could name in this project without seeming like I'm just trying to reach the five to seven minute requirement. Among all the discoveries made by the Vikings 1 and 2, some more notable findings are, Nitrogen was detected in Mars's atmosphere for the first time and was found to be a significant component. Changes on Martian soil occur very slowly, at least from the perspective of the Viking rovers. Water vapor is quite plentiful, but only in the far north during summer. Permafrost, or subsurface water, was found to cover most of the planet consistently. Lastly, the northern and southern hemispheres of Mars have very different climates, as dust storms are found in the south and in the summer.